Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play King of Hearts. Um, in the last episode we had just gathered evidence to prove Alice innocent and to prove the Heartless guilty. So now let us confront the Queen. Why don't we try talking to Alice actually? Who are you? I'm Sora. I'm Goofy and that there's Donald. Pleased to meet you, although I wish it were under better circumstances. I'm sorry you got mixed up in this nonsense. Can I talk to you again? Why are you on trial in the first place? I should like to know the very same thing. Apparently I was guilty from the moment I took the stand. That's crazy! One more time. So where are you from? Huh, curious. I can't quite remember. You see, I found this mysterious rabbit hole, and I tried to find, uh, you know, the story of Alice in Wonderland. That's funny. Maybe you don't need a ship then. I don't get it. What do you mean, another world? Enough! The defendant will be silent! Do not speak to the defendant. Alright. Are you ready to present evidence before the Queen? Yes. Very well. Council, step up to the podium. Now, show me what you have found. Well, that's certainly a lot of evidence, but I'm still not impressed. Cards! Bring forth my evidence! Just one. Hmm, checking all five would only be a waste of time. Alright, then choose the one you wish to present. I'll decide who's guilty based on that evidence. What? After all the trouble of collecting it? You dare object? Then you will lose your head! Now, choose one box! Okay. So basically, this is why I found all four pieces of evidence. Just finding that first piece of evidence that we did gave us the blizzard magic, which is the important part, but, um... If you choose... Because at the end, there are going to be five pieces of evidence you choose from, so the fewer you have, the more she has. And the more chances you have of proving yourself guilty. So why don't we just open the little one. And the Heartless are guilty. What in the world was that? There's your evidence. Alice is innocent. Urgh. Silence! I'm the law here! Article 29. Anyone who defies the Queen is guilty. That's crazy! Seize them at once! Now, if I had pulled her evidence, which proves us guilty, I'd have to do this next fight without Donald or Goofy. And that would be actually kind of difficult, because they wouldn't be there to... Well, you'll see. Cards! If they touch the tower, you lose your head. So basically, I have to just smash up this tower. Which is why it's good to have Donald and Goofy here, just so that they can distract these guys. Now, if you, if you perform some magic on them, they pass out for a while, but you can't take them out. So you gotta just hurry up and just beat up this tower and just get it destroyed before they take you down. And it's really difficult by yourself, it's surprisingly so, like, you wouldn't think that Donald and Goofy are that useful, but they are. I mean, they're not they're not very powerful, and they can't do, like, you know, these chaining combos and stuff, they only do single attacks. But yeah, whatever, we win. So the tower is broken, and the cage comes down. And Alice is gone. She must have gotten kidnapped while we were fighting. You fools! Find the one who's behind us. I don't care how. They're running for their lives. I just looked away for a moment and... Yeah, you're gonna get killed next, buddy. Without a defendant, there's no trial. Well, that's good to know. Quit dawdling! The queen has spoken. Find Alice at once. All right then. I'll find him. Whew. We got five minutes about. Okay. This flower spits out a rock. Have you seen Alice? Alice? No. Shadows? Yes. Where did they go? This way? That way? Does it matter? Left, right, up, down—all mixed up thanks to the shadows. Step deeper into the forest to the deserted garden. 
We might find shadows in the upside down room. So the upside down room. This is where things start to get really trippy. Oh man. And here's our new heartless, the the large body. These things, although they look kind of threatening, they're not that hard to deal with once you know how to deal with them. They have a few set moves. They can do some pretty heavy damage, but they're slow. So like, you know, they always well, once they start glowing purple, that's when you got some trouble. Because then they start healing themselves and they attack you relentlessly. They do that thing and then they charge at you. So if you don't guard or attack at the right time, then they do some massive damage and they just do it all over again. So you gotta be you have to attack them from behind since their stomachs are uh, shielded somehow. Anyways, I'm just trying to get rid of all the people in this area so I can talk about flower again. Get big. So let's get flower of potion. Alright. So what you can do is actually move this rock. And for whatever reason, the rock falls in the water, but you don't. Which is weird. Anyway, so I'm gonna take this, this nut back, which miraculously uh came back. I'm gonna spin the log and eat this nut. A little smaller. I just love how like peaceful the uh the music in this level was. Well when you're not in combat. Let's take care so these guys you get extra experience when you defeat them with blizzard magic. So that's always a good thing to do. Alright, so Goofy learned a new ability. I might give this to The magic is really useful at the beginning of the game here since you're not as strong as you will be later on and your magic is the strongest thing you have. Ah, so let's see here. Abilities, Goofy. So you can see here that I can't equip this ability since I don't have enough AP. So, um... You know what? I'm not going to give him the charge ability yet. It just allows him to do more damage and uh, whatever. It doesn't even matter. So we got to go find Alice and I'm out of magic. And I don't want to attack these things really aggressively because I don't want to fall off this platform. Shoot. Oh, wow. Knock them out. I didn't know you could do that. You can basically deflect their fireballs back at them. So let's see, do it again. Yeah, and he's down. And I fell anyways, come on! Ugh, what a waste of time. Anyways. So as I was saying... Uh, I'm recording this video right, right after the last video. So, um... I need to find something like to talk about. Like all these videos have just been talking about the game, even while I'm playing. But that's just because in the beginning of the game, there's so much to talk about, like regarding the game. You, know, you can't really talk about. You know, I can't talk about the banquet I went to yesterday, which is pretty cool. Actually, did I already talk about that? Well, now I'm like confusing myself chronologically. I think I might have rehearsed or talked about it to someone else. Uh, I don't know. Magic power. Ooh, I got more MP, so now I have three bars worth. So that's that's an equivalent of you know if it's fully ch charged, I can have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine blizzard spells. Anyways, uh, let's check out my abilities because I just learned a new one. Scan. So. Let's see how this works. So you can see this is also the bizarre room, except we're on one of the walls. So it's kind of weird. Yeah, this is the wall where like the fireplace is. So I don't know if we're gonna find Alice over here, but might as well look. So this, that's why I like Blizzard Magic a lot more. It's like I took out all three of those enemies at once, whereas Fire locks onto a single enemy. 
can only attack that single one. So you can see here, now with the scan ability, you can see the health meter of the enemies. So you know how much damage that you're doing, how effective your attacks are, etc, etc, etc. So once this thing goes below halfway health, he uh, goes does his berserk thing, and usually your teammates can take care of him using their abilities, you know, or some magic. Scoopy's about to die, but I don't really care. This takes us back into the Lotus Forest. I'm trying to remember what we need to do. Where are we? Oh, right, I know where we are. So... Yeah, while we're just going around fighting anything, I'll talk about this uh, banquet I went to yesterday. It's for the uh, for CARE, the Council on American Economic Relations. And it's actually a really good banquet. It's like this, this annual fundraiser thing that they hold. And they talk about, you know, their accomplishments so far and their goals for the future. You know, it's a standard fundraiser. Same as you would see for, like, you know, a school or something like that. And uh, they raised a good amount of money. So I'm happy with them. We examine this and say it's too big to eat right now. So now this thing is here. I don't think this was here before. I don't remember it. Go to the bizarre room from there, but why don't we take a jump right here? Oh man, I missed. Great. Goofy's again. Goofy and all are both about to die. So that's wonderful. I know I can make this jump. I've done it before. You know what, forget it. Hmm, the Tea Party Garden. This is a weird room as well. I know it's based off of like the Mad Hatter and stuff like that. Uh, I don't remember much of Alice in Wonderland. I need to watch that movie again. It's been years since I've seen it. I saw it when I was like 10. So, uh, and this a very merry unbirthday. Sit down to get your present. So now you get to choose a seat. Depending on where you sit, something happens. Knocks you back, and I dropped a whole bunch of money! Get this money! These little golden diamond thingies. You get these ones. And then if you, go, if you win a prize, then you can try again. Until... Yeah, there's health from this one. I'll sit down right here now. magic in that one, so this is probably a potion that's probably an ether, yeah. Now let me sit at the head table. I'm getting really lucky, usually by now something bad happens. Yeah, there we go. Cake explodes, and we get someone to fight. So, as you can see, I'm hitting the guy in the front, but not, nothing's really happening, so let's get behind him, smack him up. jeez. Oh, Donald's dead. He'll be back soon now. Alright. And once the battle ends, your teammates come back to life. Or not? Okay, there we go. Ah, so this door leads back to the bazaar room. This is the upside down room that the Cheshire Cat was talking about. They're hiding somewhere. And the Momorats outgrabe. Okay. Want to find the shadows? Try turning on the light. Alright. Let us turn on the light. So. What we gotta do is light the lantern here. Which is not really hard to figure out that that's what you're supposed to do. Because once you get near the lanterns, you know, a big question mark appears on top of your head. So it's kind of obvious right here. So even if the Cheshire Cat didn't tell you to do that. It's too dim. Make it brighter. What next? One more lamp that you need to light. Well, that's weird. There's four lamps, though. Alright. All the lights are on. You'll see the shadows soon. They'll rise in this room, but somewhere else. The shadows might go after that doorknob, too. What an enigma. Great. Deep freeze. 
to take care of these fire people because they're more of an irritation than anything. Alright, we took care of him. And they took care of Donald. So like I said, in the first few levels, Donald's completely useless. Got him. Like, I mean, he lives for about like half a second. And that's about it. Uh, and I'm not talking again. <clears throat> so, yeah, the, at the banquet, there is there was an actor who showed up, Amer. Oh dear God, I forgot his last name. Uh, you know, he's a Muslim actor. If you didn't know what CARE is, it's the Council on American Islamic Relations, and it's you know an organization that. Well, I haven't really like. I don't work for them or anything, and I, I did some volunteer work with them at one point. Uh, but yeah, you know, I kind of support what they do. They, they're a civil rights organization, so any sort of uh, you know harassment or hate crimes and stuff like that usually reported to them. Like if you've seen that video with my uh, that phone message that I got. Uh, I reported that to care, so they're usually like good advisors, etc. So let's heal up our party. Let's go back in here because there's one more thing I want to show. Actually, now we're coming up on 17 minutes. Maybe I'll show it later. Yeah, I'll show it later. But what you're supposed to go is you know, go back into the bazaar room, the standard one, right here. You'll have a better view from higher up. Okay. First... Uh... Shoot. Okay, let's give Goofy the Fira ring? Okay. Hold on. Let's change my fire ring for the Fira. Fira is better than fire. As you can see, like, on the right hand side there, the defense 11 going to 12, so it raises your defense just a little bit. Oops. Uh... And let's give Donald... I mean... Goofy the fire ring. Oh, there's another fear ring. Cool, let's give that to Donald. Let's give Goofy the protect chain. And let's take on Whoa, whoops. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers of about like three seconds. Let's talk to you. My phone is ringing. I'll answer it later. The shadows should be here soon. Are you prepared for the worst, if not too bad? Hmm. How did we not see that before? Something that resembles the Joker. I mean, like, no. Not the Joker from Batman. But the Joker on the card. So you can see this thing has, like, a, a really long health bar and it's yellow rather than green. And that's because... Whoops. I should attack him. That might be a good idea. That's because as you eat away the yellow one, a green one's underneath it. So he really has two full health bars. And once you deal enough damage to him, he falls down. So you just smack him up. So what I like to do is I like to uh, just get up on the table and attack him from up above. So if you pull off a couple combos on him, he gets stunned for a little bit, and he gets back up. And when he gets stunned, he drops some health orbs. That'd be useful to have. Now, I need to get back on the table before he doesn't do it. I need to some blizzard. That didn't work at all. Oh, shoot. Alright. Alright, so he got knocked down. I don't know how Donald's able to hit him from, like, the ground. Doesn't make any sense. Alright, he's halfway done. So this is going to be another easy boss fight. It's because we're such a high level. And the thing I like about this game is that, like, you don't need to be, like, a really high level. Like, whether or not you can progress through the game doesn't depend entirely on what level you are and what your stats are. 
your ability to play the game and react to how the game works also has an effect on it. It's not like a simple, you know, you attack until you die thing. And I know Final Fantasy is more than just that. You know, you have to be strategic as well, but this deals a lot more with reflexes, and like your reflexes can make up for any lack of uh, time that you've spent leveling up and stuff. So if you know how to beat something, uh, you don't have to level up. And if you don't know how to beat something, then you can simply level up until you're strong enough to just force your way through it. So there's more than one way to play this game. That's really good about that. Now I'm really surprised that this like this boss hasn't really done any of his like special moves yet. So I'm gonna wait a little bit. Because like he's supposed to go to the, the chimney and light his little baton things on fire. I don't know why he's not doing it. Well I thought fire healed him, but apparently not. So I beat him and he didn't even show up any of his moves, so that was a letdown. You know, he's supposed to set his batons on fire and, like, shoot fireballs towards me. It's supposed to be really epic. I thought this was expert mode. Oh, man, my throat's starting to feel really dry and stuff. Didn't drink a lot of water today. But yeah, just like the guard armor, he le releases a uh, silver, heart, silver heart and gives you an accessory. What a racket. How's a doorknob to get any sleep? There's a keyhole in the keyhole. Yo, dog. Alright. What was that? You hear that? It sounded like something closed. And he spits out this little gummy block. This gummy ain't like the others, no sir. Okay, hold on to it. So it's a gummy block as in like it's something that goes onto your ship. Splendid, you're quite the hero. If you're looking for Alice, she's not here. She's gone, off with the shadows, into darkness. No. Let's go back to our gummy ship. We might find her in another world. We gotta go to a save point to return to our ship. Goofy, are you breaking the fourth wall? That is two times that you were guilty. Actually, the first time was Donald. Anyways, so here we are at the save point. So when you save, you can see you have the option to go to the gummy ship. So, uh, that concludes this episode. It's kind of a long one. It's almost 24 minutes. So, oops. I don't want to format that memory card. So, tune in next time, and we will go to our next world. I did this really fast. I beat this world in about, you know, 40 minutes. Impressive. I may say so myself. Have I really spent six hours in this game? Oh yeah, because I was spending all that time leveling up. Anyways, uh, so tune in next time, guys.